Welcome to the first part of the Marvelous Dress tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll start off by making a flamenco inspired dress inside Marvelous Designer. We'll then take this dress into ZBrush for detailing with high poly sculpting, and then retopologize the sculpt to create a low poly animation friendly mesh. Then we'll take the high poly from ZBrush and low poly from Maya, and bake a few projection maps inside X Normal and adjust these projected textures inside Photoshop to create all of its texture maps. Then, we'll prepare the dress inside Character Creator and produce a character. Finally, we'll apply a dance motion inside iClone and Cloth Physics. So there's a lot of steps to cover here, and I hope you'll learn a lot of various techniques. It's paramount to gather good resources to guarantee success, so we'll need real-life examples of the dress being worn. Some sewing blueprints can be very informative, and some close-up shots of the fabric and designs will help with the detailing. First and foremost, we need to export a body template from Character Creator. So go to File, Export, and OBJ Avatar to save out this new body. Next, we'll need to use this new body inside Marvelous Designer as an avatar template. Go to File, New to clear the default clothing, then File, Import, OBJ, Load as avatar and scale is set to centimeter. Before we begin to design the dress, let's adjust a few settings. First, go to settings, user settings, and others. You can adjust default particle distance to control the mesh density. Make sure mesh is quad and unit is in centimeters. Then let's enable snap to grid for the 2D viewport. Now, I like to start out by having my references on one side of the screen and Marvelous Designer open on the other side. I begin by drawing with the polygon tool, usually working from the front to the back of the character, and top to bottom, and lastly fill in the extra parts. I'm simply laying down the points for the cutouts and connecting to the first point to close the shape. Now that we have the cutout ready, let's symmetrically paste this shape. Ctrl C and Ctrl V and before I click down on the mouse, right click and select Symmetric Paste. Hold down the Shift key to snap to the grid and press the left mouse button. Now you will notice a blue square around the piece of cloth, which means I can edit one side and affect the other, therefore saving a lot of time. Be careful as deleting one side will also delete the other. To properly delete one side, first right click on it and remove symmetry, and hit the delete button. Let's fast forward to where all the pieces are created and placed in the 3D view. Both sides are properly symmetrical, along with the skirt which is mirrored in the front and back. Now, if we run the simulation in 3D view by hitting the space bar, the pieces will just fall to the ground. This is because we have not yet connected all these individual pieces. Hit the Reset 3D Arrangement button and activate the Segment Sewing tool. Now we can connect the seams one by one. For seams with multiple connections, just hit the Shift key to sew multiple times like so. If the sewing tool starts off in the wrong direction, just move along the seam until the lines are flipped in the right direction. To flip the sewing after it's already laid down, just use the Edit Sewing tool and mouse over the problem area. Once it's highlighted, right click and select Reverse Sewing. You can also use the hotkeys Ctrl B.
Okay, now that I have all the parts sewn together, hit the spacebar to simulate this cloth physics. And it looks like I missed a spot, so let's just sew that together and simulate again. As you can see, everything comes together rather nicely. Now is the time to create some fabric materials. Use the Add button under the fabric panel and select the entire dress and set the fabric attribute to the one we just created. So now that another fabric is set up, we can change its settings. However, I do recommend just starting out with some common presets such as this cotton preset and always make sure to run the simulation again as the fabric can have a big impact on its look. Let's skip forward to where the dress is completed in Marvelous Designer. As you can see, the frill of the dress is also attached with a different material type assigned. This is so that the frill material can be adjusted to be softer than the rest of the dress. If we go to display 2D pattern, show mesh, we can see clearly how MD subdivides the dress into polygons. For the top frills, you see a series of internal lines. This is so I can control the mesh flow. Remember that the internal lines can be extended beyond the boundaries after it's put down. Another useful trick is to increase the mesh density for areas that need more details. Do this by selecting a piece of cloth and adjust the particle distance attribute. A lower number here will increase the mesh density. In this case, I increased the mesh density for the frills to support better looking wrinkles. Now the final step is to export a couple of OBJ files so we can start sculpting. Go to File Export OBJ and save out the body. In the Options, uncheck Select All Patterns and make sure Single Object, Weld, Thin, and Unified UV Coordinates are turned on. And make sure the scale is set to centimeters. Now we'll save out the clothing as another OBJ file. Same settings except this time Select All Patterns is on and Select All Avatars is off. That concludes part one of the Marvelous Designer tutorial. Please stay tuned for the next part where we go into details of sculpting, retopology, and texture projection.